Hello everyone, I am Nitin Rajput. In today's video, we will look how anyone can make their own 5G lab environment setup. So for that, we first need to have our 5G code deployed. And the second part is we need to have an SDR. So we have purchased USRP B210 from Ethos, which you can also buy from their website which you can see here so we have buy this one and we have also made our 3d environment of b210 so you can also see here so it is pretty cool so now we can move to our 5g code deployment and what we will do in this video we will deploy first we will deploy our 5g core and after that we will configure our uh, g node b config file so that it should get connected to our 5g core and after that we will check whether our ue is able to connect with our usrp21 210 or not so for that we first need to clone this repo for the 5g and for the usrp or g node b part you need to clone this repo so here is our terminal so uh, in this lab environment we have used only single system and on that system we have deployed uh, ubuntu 18 version 18. 04.6 LTS with low latency kernel you need to have uh, Ubuntu 18 version with a low latency kernel so after doing this part we will move to deploy our 5g core so I have already cloned that repo as I have mentioned so I will directly deploy our 5g core so for that I need to run this command So let me show the, which file I am going to deploy. I will going to deploy using this file. So here is deployment of 5G core is under process. And it is done. Let's just quickly check whether our all containers are up and running. So our all containers are up and running. So now we will move to build the binary for the g node b so that uh, with using that binary we will able to connect with the uh, usrp b210 so now we are going to build the binaries for the g node b so for that purpose we need to move toward our open 5 gsc make target and tools folder after going this you will see one file here in this file you only need to update one line which is on 435 here by default it was 2 point something so you need to update with 3.15.0 so that it will not throw an error while building the binaries for the g node b So after doing this, we will build our G node B binary. So before doing this, you need to follow this step. First, you need to switch to the dev develop uh, branch. After that, you need to source OAI ENV. And then after that, you need to move towards the CMake target folder. And this part we have already done. So in CMake folder, CMake target folder, you need to run this command to build the binaries for the G node B. So I have already done this part. So I will quickly show what it will create. So from here, you need to run that build command for building the binaries for the G node B. So what it will do, it will create the folders like 
grand build and build under this it will you can see our g node b binary is created successfully so now what will be our next task our next task is to update the config file of b210 so now we need to move toward this directory so please remember here after moving towards from projects to another directory there will be generic lte you need to move toward generic nr and after that conf and after that you will see there was many configuration file for g node b so in this 5g lab environment we are using this one so i will open this file so in this file we only need to check the uh, gnode b id uh, tag or you can say tracking area code which i have updated according to our 5g code so what you need to do is you need to check these values like uh, gnode b id tag tracking area id plmn or you can say mcc mnc value and slicing value like sst and sd according to our 5g code if some values are uh, mismatch with each other it will not get connected with our 5g core or you can say our usrp or g node b will not get connected to our 5g core so all the thing that we have done previously will go into vain so please cross check all the values and after cross check all the values we will move toward by running the g node b before that i will show some thing so here you can see here is the amf ip so what we will do uh, as i as i have already said that we have used only one system so on that system 5g core is also deployed and we are going to run g node b on that system only so we will first check whether we are able to ping our amf or not so that our g node b or you can say g node b host is able to ping our amf or not so let us just quickly check this so you can see this is the amf ip and we are able to ping that so uh, i think we will not get any error if we are not able to ping so please uh, enable the port forwarding for that purpose so now here is uh, so here is the amf ip and we have cross checked that we have we are able to ping our amf ip from our g node b host and here is the bridge demo oai which is a bridge between our 5g core and the sdr or you can say usrp b210 so after doing this configuration we will run this us g node b so for that purpose we need to run this command it went to the password so it was looking for the device so let us just quickly check whether our g node b is able to connect to our 5g core or not so we need to move slightly upwards so here you can see one amf is associated with our g node b that means our g node b is connected to our 5g core successfully and we will now try to connect ue with the am uh, with the g node b so for that i need to move to different folder then build 
let me just let me just clear the screen and copy this command and run the ue so here you can see our ue is also get attached with the usrp or you can say usrp p210 or g node v on this is the logs of ue and this one is the logs of g node v so if you can go upward you can see more logs so our that means our ue is successfully connected with our g node v this is the whole procedure for having our own 5g uh, lab setup environment so thank you for watching this video